Right folks, something I've been meaning to do for a while is show you how to tie my multi-rig, which we've been using in a few previous videos when we've been fishing over at Manor Farm. It's a very simple rig to tie, very neat, not many components needed. It's perfect for fishing little pop-ups in the spring. Awesome little rig. Right, let's show you how to tie it. To make this rig, it's very simple. I like to use Camatex Semi-Stiff in 20 pound. My hook of choice would be a size 5 stiff rig straight or any other hook with an outturned eye and a straight point preferably I prefer. A little tool, stripper tool, some rig putty, some scissors and a baiting needle that's round here just so you can help form the loop. And then I slide a little tungsten sinker on the hook link so that I can mould the putty around it so it stays. So there's putty around here. Right, let's start making it. First things first, let's pull off plenty of hook link. Nothing worse than making a rig that's too short. So I like to pull off around 14 inches. That should give me a sort of, by the time I've got a couple of loops in the end, I'll end up with a 10, 11 inch rig. Like that. First thing we're going to do is form a loop. This will be the loop that your hook goes on. And you want the loop to end up being about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. Um, obviously the bigger the loop, the higher your pop-up will sit off the bottom. So I like it low to the bottom, so about an inch and a half. So I double the hook length over. So you've probably got about close to about two inches folded over. So before you tie your knot, you've got sort of a two inch long loop. That should give you about an inch and a half by the time you've tied a loop, an overhand knot in it. Right, let's tie a figure of eight loop knot in it. Like that, twist that round like that. Use a latch needle to pull it back through, make it easier. Slide that down to position. Just moisten the knot. There we go. So that will be the loop that you thread your hook on. Just trim the tag end off. Like that. Next thing to do is make a little break in the coating just below the knot here, which will give your ring, your, your rig the, the hinge effect so that the pop-up can spin around into the fish's mouth. So you just make a little break in the coating using one of these little tools with a, with a stripper tool built into it. So just below the knot, just carefully not to damage the braid inside, just strip back a tiny piece of coating, maybe three or four mil like so. It's very easy, to, this coating to come off, it's nice. There you go, so I've removed a little piece of the coating. So I've now got a supple bit just below the loop knot we tied. Next thing to do is thread on one of them tungsten sinkers. These have obviously got a bit of weight to them as well, but they also help um, you mould your putty around it helps your putty stick to it so it never comes off. Slide one of them on there. And then I slide that tungsten sinker right down until it's just at where the coating breaks. So you can imagine that you're now gonna mold your putty around the tungsten sinker. which gives you your hinge there. And you can tie the loop in the other end now. So I kind of put the tungsten sinker at the beginning of my ruler on the box. Then look where 10 inches is. Just allow a bit more of tie in the loop and you tie a loop exactly like you did in the other end. This is the end that you'll attach to your quick change link on either your lead clip or your helicopter. So I make this loop a little bit bigger. 
tie it over around looping it again. Like that. Just moisten it to weigh it down. This will be the energy connector to your rig. You can see it's a bit curly at the moment, but we'll use steam off the kettle when we're finished to straighten this out. It will look lovely. So that's the basis of it. Two overhand figure of eight loops, one that end, one this end. Next thing to do is get a rig ring and a hook. I like a decent sized rig ring, three mil. Gives the bait loads of movement. I'll get a size five, it's my favorite. Stiff rig straight, barbed where they're allowed. Obviously if I was at Manor Farm, I'd use a barbless version or any other day ticket which is barbless, but where I am today, we can use whatever we like. So, just straighten your loop out, so the two pieces are parallel. So you just make sure the loop's nice and straight. And you poke it from the inside of the eye, the point side of the eye, Squeeze it together, that just pushes through there, lovely. Then you thread your rig ring over the doubled up piece of hook length. So this is starting to form the, the D part. And then you loop the D. You see the D like that, it's coming out the hook. You threaded the rig ring on this piece then you loop the D over the hook like that. And that is forming really neatly the D part of your rig. You see how it's lovely and stiff. It's like a little stiff rig. It's so easy to tie. And some people worry about this loop slipping, but I have no problems at all, not with this particular hook link and this size of hook. The, the fitting of the hook link through the eye is quite tight, which is perfect. And I normally have the sort of rig ring, when it's positioned there, it's sort of just in line between the barb and the point. I'll line it up anywhere there. So that's the beauty of this rig, is you can literally just, when you've got a blunt hook after a fish, you can just poke that through there, unloop it, and you can quick change your hook. So you can just pull that hook off there, take the rig ring off, slide the hook off, slide a fresh hook on, rig ring back on, loop that back over there, pull it down, and you're fishing again. You know, often all I need to do is quick steam on the kettle to re-straighten it, and I'm good to go again. It's such a good rig. And you can actually use, you could change that. I've actually caught fish off the bottom of this rig as well. I just changed this hook for a curve shank hook and fish a little wafter on a D. That's why it's called a multi-rig, multi-purpose, so you can use it for bomb baits, wafters, pop-ups, it does everything. Right, I'm just going to mould the putty around this to finish it off. Mould that round the tungsten sinker. That will never come off of there. And one last thing I like to do to that before I would use it, is put a small piece of putty halfway along just to help pin the rig down. So I get like a mouse drop in size piece. And about halfway along the hook link, I just pinch it on there. Just warm the putty up between your thumb and forefinger. That is it. It is so simple. One last thing I would do with that is I'm just going to steam it over the kettle to straighten it. Now that kettle's boiling like that, just very carefully hold the hook end and the other loop. It doesn't have to be right in the steam, you just hold it there. Just hold it through the steam like that. There is our perfectly steamed straight rig. with our lovely hinge there. 
so whichever way the fish sucks that will spin round. So there you have it, one finished multi-rig, complete with a yellow pineapple pop-up which I just bait flossed on there. So yeah, it's easy to tie, very versatile because you can change your hook after each fish and it offers excellent value for money as you can reuse that hook link over and over again, um, often having the same rig on for months. So yeah, I hope you enjoy catching plenty on it just as I have over the years. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to comment below and I'll get back to you. Anything at all, just ask. Thanks for watching. See you later.